This is our project for 16264 Humanoid Robotics. Our project involves controlling a humanoid robotic hand with a glove fitted with flex sensors. The end goal was to have a relatively accurate humanoid hand that could actively grasp objects and also mimic a user wearing a glove. Flex sensors are essentially a flat, flexible, variable resistor. Therefore, they make a desirable sensor to be able to read a user's finger position, such as being bent at 45 degrees straight or somewhere in between. The flex sensors are connected to each finger, and one flex sensor is across the palm, as you can see. The main goal was to build a hand that had a motion in the palms, and basically that's not very common in other humanoid hands, uh, in addition to controlling other all the other five fingers. The palms and fingers would be controlled by fishing wire connected to the servos, acting sort of like tendons in real hands. One, of the, one end of the fishing wire is attached to the tip of a finger, and the other end is attached to the servo. Since the fingers are made of flexible plastic, they basically have a resting state of being straight. Thus, when the servo pulls the fishing wire attached to the tip of a finger, the finger bends towards the pre-cut holes in the plastic. The palms being made out of wood, though, do not have the flexibility that the fingers have, so we had to cut the wooden palm into pieces, connecting them together using small craft hinges. And then we attach springs on the bottom side, that I'll show later, to the other side of the palm, which is the back of your hand, which would basically pull the palm outward by the springs at its resting state. Essentially, if you're going to picture it, it looks as if you're flexing your hand flat. Fishing, fishing wire was then attached to the edges of the palm, and the palm was closed in a manner similar to how the fingers are bent. The servo would pull on the fishing wire connected to the edges of the palm, flexing the springs and making the palms close. Cool stuff. Alright, so this is the spring configuration and it always pulls the palm flat. Right now it's in a fist and then if it relaxes the spring should be able to pull it back like that. And these are the servos underneath too that pull the four fingers. So it pulls the four fingers underneath that way it doesn't interrupt the tendons on the top which pull the palms. So a flex sensor is a variable resistor, which means that it changes its resistance depending on, on how much it's flexed. When it's fully flexed, it has a very high resistance. When it is not flexed as much, when it is in its resting position, it has a low resistance. So we combine these flex sensors with resistors to form a potential divider system. Then we take the voltage from this potential divider into the analog inputs of the Arduino. The microcontroller does some processing where it maps that voltage onto a digital signal that represents the amount of degrees that the servos are required to turn. We then send that signal to the servos and the servos would move the required amount of degrees. These servos move a range of 0 to 180 degrees. We have two Arduinos. The first Arduino controls the five fingers, and the second Arduino controls the two servos that control the palm. It's awesome.